I am in my car. As you can see, I'm in one of the parking areas in my apartment complex. I just left the library. I wanted to do a car vlog there, but I couldn't find any shade, so I said, well, I'll just go back home and I'll find some shade there. It's the third Thursday of the month, so we had an art class this morning, and we knew in advance it was going to be Zentangle, which I still call doodling, and I haven't done that in a very long time. So I went through my, my uh, sketchbook and looked at all my doodles, and I found one that wasn't finished. And I thought, hmm, did I just drop the ball on this? So I brought it with me, and I worked on that at the class, and I really want to get back to it. I do. I really want to make videos on that again. Uh, now that I have been doing YouTube for a long time, I am sure I could come up with a better setup than what I had when I used to do the doodling videos. They're on my uh, my old craft channel. What is it called? Is it Darlene's Crafty Crew? Something like that. I don't know. And I have been taking those old doodles off. Well, I used to do that. I haven't done that for a long time either and move them over to my uh, main channel. I didn't take them off, I just redid them. So I have them on both channels, but different music, things like that. You have to change it up or, um, you know, YouTube will think that you're just using the same video in, on multiple channels. So I might move some of those over again. I have to see what is left, but I really want to start doing some of uh, the doodles again because I love the doodling it's very relaxing for me and but you know we had the issue with me uh, having ugly fingers because of my anxiety stress whatever it is that causes me to chew or pick the hell out of the my fingertips the skin around my fingers now you notice look I have nail polish on I bought it the other day I purposely wore my purple shirt to match this, and I even have purple glasses, and my close-up glasses are also purple, so I'm purple today. And I did my nails, this is Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, I did my nails Tuesday night, and I have not touched the skin on my fingers since. I have actually, like, gone to my mouth, but the texture of the nail polish against my teeth and I can still smell the nail polish it it's like oh oh no I'm, I'm not supposed to be doing this so this is going to work as it has before and I might have polished nails for two years and then I might decide to just chew the hell out of my fingers again I just never know <laughs> so but for right now they're going to be able to heal it takes a while because I end up getting like calluses are all around this finger in particular it must be my favorite finger but I was to the point that I was ripping the skin off this side and that that doesn't feel good um, yeah so it gets really bad I am going to do a video I hope at some point with some links to what these things are called the the around the fingernails the hair twisting things like that um, just in case somebody else wants to read up on that so I'm hopeful that my fingers will be ready <laughs> in maybe a few weeks um, so that I can start doing close-ups uh, for crocheting doodling all that stuff because I really miss it and that's the reason that uh, I haven't been doing those things because it gets really, really bad. I mean, it just, yeah, it does. So is there anything else that I wanted to talk about? Well, I'm not done yet. Don't go away. I'm only just begun. And the library. So somebody just went by and was a nice looking guy. There's a new head librarian at the Hernando Library. And she was taking part of the class. She actually was taking pictures. I don't know if I'll end up showing up in a picture, me sitting at a table doodling. But uh, I asked her if she was interested in, at all in uh, being on Derek's podcast, the Real Hernando podcast. And she is very interested. She gave me the card. So I'll be able to give Derek that info and he can contact them. I would love 
to have the library promoted because I just think libraries are so awesome, especially the ones around here. Uh, I just, I don't know, I'm impressed with all the stuff that they do. N not just these little craft classes, but they do a lot of things. I'm actually going to send you guys to another video uh, because I'd like you guys to watch that. It describes me to a T. It's the Crappy Childhood Fairy, and her name, I believe, is Anna. I use her as my ASMR now. I will find a playlist or a video that I want to, you know, listen to. I just put it on loop and this runs all night. And I mostly listened to the one I'm going to send you to. And then I fell asleep, but then I woke up just about like where I stopped listening and fell asleep. So I got to hear the rest of it. And the title is, Do People Trigger You? And I was like, um, yeah big time. And it made me feel so much better about the things that I have said to you guys in the past that I feel make me sound like a complete freak. But I get validation from this woman and from many others that uh, I'm not a freak and that it has to do with childhood trauma. Now, she doesn't deal with just childhood trauma, but she is a childhood trauma survivor, so she knows what she's talking about. When a child is traumatized or even just neglected, like not having anything bad happen to them, but just not having a lot of nurturing love, that kind of thing, you know, you just try to protect yourself as a child, and you disconnect as you get older especially because you you haven't learned the tools you haven't learned how to be social or you've learned how to uh, you know avoid people because you feel like all people are going to let you down or hurt you or whatever my thing is that when i talked about like hearing good comments that that triggers me, and I, I know why. It's because anything good in my life was followed by bad. You know, and people have said, oh, just try to think of the good things. Uh, the good things were a sign that something bad is coming. It's like the calm before the storm, you know? And I just would like you to go watch that video and hear somebody besides me say these things. She doesn't say exactly that, but she does talk about how, um, you know, just people can get triggered. And, uh, you know, I, I just really like the way she says things. So maybe she can help you for your own self, or maybe she can help you to understand someone else, including me. And you can certainly uh, look at her other videos. Uh, I, she doesn't know me at all. I get nothing from this. Uh, it's just somebody that has helped me greatly. And she's so on point that there are nights that I, I can't watch her because I don't know how it's going to make me feel. It might be a time where I'm not thinking about that kind of shit and I don't want to be reminded in that moment. But when I'm feeling you know, down and out and just, you know, in that place where I can't think of anything but my past, I watch her and she helps me. So I'm going to link to that video down below and I would love it if you would go watch that. Even if it's just to get to know me better, I, I will feel better. <laughs> and I'm going to do uh, like she suggests and it's that I know, I know because I'm an intelligent person person, I would like to think. I know that when people say what they assume are nice things, um, I can tell, and not everybody, not everybody says things uh, that has good intentions. There's a lot of um, passive-aggressive stuff out there, you know, and, but she's, you know, trying to say that obviously we can't control that. I can't control what people say, but I can start to realize that it's something that is good, just doesn't feel good to me. And I have to work on trying to be um, okay with letting that kind of stuff I can't say let it go because I, I can't let things go. I, I just can't. But I have to find a way to deal with um, 
the things that bother me. And one way that I can think of is just to immediately remind myself that I am a public figure on YouTube and I have no control over that and that I just um, will see these things, I will let them bother me, but I'm not going to try to put it out there because when something bothers me like that somebody can say something really nice to me and I want to fucking slam back and it's because I'm so prepared that a horrible thing is coming next it's just a very strange dynamic and I'm so happy to have found this person who does these kind of videos because I think it's going to help me greatly I really do I really do and she's the one that talks about how um, not all therapy is good for childhood trauma because a lot of therapists just I, I, I really think you have to have lived that kind of life to know because it's not a matter of um, you know medicine as a band-aid or you know doing all these things that you have to do like you know meditation I can't do that shit it's just I can't I can't do it drives me crazy so I like her just go check her out if you have any issues uh, like I have and uh, and maybe it'll help I don't know if I have too much else I'm going to go in the house I'm kind of hungry so I you know, it's past noon. I haven't had lunch and I got up pretty early, like 7.15. That's early for me. And so I need to cook my hamburger patties and chow down. I don't know what else. I'd like to finish the doodle that I didn't get to finish at the library and just have that done and work on some fabric sales and I've already taken a nice long walk this morning but I'd like to take another one this afternoon maybe a short one early evening before it gets too dark and that's how my day is gonna go I just wanted to check in and uh, that's it thanks so much for watching bye